with iOS 11 expected to officially launch this fall, it's a good idea to know just what you're in for after you install the latest and greatest Apple has to offer to the iPhone. The new OS is full of small, subtle tweaks, but there are also some bigger changes that will undoubtedly take some getting used to. Notification Center is no more Jason Cipriani Net. Well, that's not completely true. It's still there, it's just that now it's called Cover Sheet. Cover Sheet looks a lot like the standard iOS lock screen and works in the same manner too. Swipe in either direction on alerts to take action or clear them. Swipe from either edge of the display to launch the camera or view your today panel. Oh, and your notification feed will be broken up into most recent and earlier today yesterday, and so on sections. Read more about cover sheet, in iOS 11 no more force touch for quick app switching when Apple announced the iPhone 6 $370.79 at Amazon.com, complete with a pressure-sensitive screen. The company also added a shortcut to quickly switch between apps by pressing on the left edge of the display. With iOS 11, that gesture is gone. Go ahead, press as hard as you want. It's simply not going to work. Time to go back to double pressing the home button. Drag and drop ISNT just for iPad Jason Cipriani Net Apple touted the iPad's new drag and drop feature when it unveiled iOS 11 in June, but what the company DIDNT tell us is the iPhone has it too, albeit in very limited situations. In the Photos app, for example, you can drag a photo to an album instead of tapping around. Here's how you can try it place a finger on a photo until it starts to hover. Tap on the Albums tab on the bottom of the screen or drag the photo to the tab. Then drop the photo in whichever album you want. Neat, right? NFC is open for Al an example of the NFC prompt coming to the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus with the release of iOS 11. Screenshot by Jason Cipriani Net Apple is finally giving developers access to the iPhone's NFC capabilities instead of keeping it locked to just Apple Pay. As developers begin to release updates for apps, you will undoubtedly see the option to scan NFC tags to view more information about a product or connect to gym equipment, for example. The feature will be limited to the iPhone 7 $799.45 at Amazon Marketplace and iPhone 7 plus $979.99 at Amazon Marketplace. Control Center is brand new. Again, Jason Cipriani Net. When you swipe up from the bottom of the screen on your iPhone to view Control Center, you're in for a surprise. The three-panel approach of iOS 10 is gone. Instead, Control Center is a continuous column of buttons. You can hard press on buttons for additional options, and add or remove items from Control Center through the Settings app. Learn more about Control Center in iOS 11 App Store has a fresh coat of paint Sarah Tuknet a long overdue change to the App Store is coming. With a more visually appealing, interactive design, the App Store looks nothing like it used to. The new design will highlight new apps and developers and looks a lot like Apple Music. Only instead of songs and artists, it's games and apps. Speaking of which, Apple has finally separated the two categories into their own respective sections. Screenshot tool is awesome Jason Cipriani Net the process of taking a screenshot, editing and then sharing it is getting streamlined. With iOS 11 installed, when you take a screenshot a small preview thumbnail will show up in the bottom left corner. Tap on it to mark up, crop, edit, delete or share. Learn more about screenshots on iOS 11 iPhone 8 everything we know so far, iOS 11 all the new features, plus all our tips and guides.